What's up, travelers? This one is about the food. First stop is this place, it's called Restan Lampotesi. It's a Greek bakery that has been in business since 1910. They got something here that I've been told you need to try. Just went into Aristan Lampotesi and we got their big seller Greek pie that they made famous. This is a cheese pie, a yellow cheese pie. It's called Kuro. Let's get into it. Well, that first bite is a lot of crust. <laughs> A ridiculous amount of crust. Ooh, that was hard to get through. I don't think we even got into the cheese on that one. But this is the this is the money bite right here. Yeah. Look at that. I'd say it's decent. I think they've probably been surpassed by other bakeries around the city, but. They were the ones that started it, so we came here, had to get that. But we also got a spankle pita, a spinach feta pie. We'll check that out as soon as I'm done with this one. The Caro, it was Euro 30. So now we got our spinach feta pie here. Just stacked and filled, man. This thing is crazy. It smells good. Let's give it a go. Yeah, that's the way to go, right there. Come here, get get yourself a spankopita. You got nice filo dough crust, lots of cheese, spinach, and it's just a, it's good, definitely good. They also have a lot of really good dessert looking kind of stuff in there. So if you're ever in the area, come check this place out. It's been here since 1910, since a reason. The Spankapito was two euros 20, all in total, four euros. Pretty decent breakfast, on to the next spot.
two are going to Naran, this charcuterie place that I tried to come here on Tuesday. They told me to come back on Friday because they would be open for dining in finally. So here we are. Alright, so we got some salami, we got some some beef pastrama, some water buffalo crouton like things and some feta cheese here and he's bringing us some camel pastrama as well and there we got the camel meat right there all right so this is pretty exciting stuff let's just jump in on some of this uh, salami first right. look how thin that is like you can actually almost see through it Oh yeah, the fats in that just make it just kind of glide down your throat. It's absolutely just amazing. So let's try this beef pastrama. Mm. So you got just a certain amount of saltiness that's to the point of just perfection. It tastes almost like like a bratwurst. It's beef. It's it's not pork. And that's absolutely mind blowing. Let's try one of these chips with some feta here. So their feta, it isn't overpowering like a lot of feta that you run into. It's, it's actually kind of, I mean, it's got that, that goat's milk uh, tang to it, but it's also sweet. Creamy, really tasty. Give it a little bit of the salami to go with it. Yeah, that's just a fantastic combination. When we were coming here, I had no idea that they have water buffalo. Water buffalo is something that I've never had, even though I was over in Southeast Asia and they have a lot of water buffalo there. Yeah, it's this light colored meat. You'd kind of expect it to be kind of a darker since it's such a big animal. But... Water buffalo tastes like ham. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I heard that. Yeah. Ham and uh, meat, you know, it's a uh, very, very good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like I was just you know, telling that guy, uh, this water buffalo, it tastes a lot like ham, like a ham cold cut. So this is a water buffalo mm -hmm. uh, rib steak, I'm guessing. Yes. yes. Uh, this meat. And, uh, and then this is. This is what we're eating the water buffalo from here. The best, the best meat, you know, from Greece. The so they say it's the best meat in Greece. Greece. And, and I'm not going to debate that with them because it's pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this camel here. I've never had camel before. This is what we came here to try. Let's jump on in on this. Hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a very very dry dry pastrama. Again, it's got that perfect saltiness to it, but it's very lean. I don't know if it's from being out in the desert all the time or whatnot. It's a very 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 good meat, and I'm guessing that it would actually be a good meat for if you're like trying to lose weight and you're on a diet. I'd say maybe try out eating a bunch of camel. So this place, it's been in business since 1922. This is the place in, in Greece that you go to if you want to get the best meats. Um, like your salamis, your pastrami, your hams, your cheeses. This is the place where you want to go pick all of that stuff up. They're very, very, very famous for all of that stuff. It's definitely worth coming in here and trying it. You're going to get some stuff you've never had before. That's part of the adventure. <laughs> 
I'm not sure which one I would prefer. If I was to pick one to say that this is the best, I'm not sure which it is just yet. I'm going to have to do another round. That's the beef. That beef is so good. We'll try the water buffalo again. It's such a drastic flavor between the two of them. They're just way, way different. Like mm -hmm. One, you almost got bacon, and the other is ham. The smokiness of the pastrama is just unbelievable. And let's try our last piece of this camel here. Camel, it's it's probably the in the middle grade between the three there. It's mild, it's sweet, it's intense, it's not too fatty, but it's very good so far. I'm thinking I like the camel the best, but that's just the best salami I've had in my life. So I I don't know how much this costs. I tried to pay, but they wouldn't let me. That's the first time that's happened on my YouTube channel. So I'm not sure how, how much this one costs. I don't think it's too very expensive, but definitely come check this place out. Go ahead and check this video out here. We're going to go to the most recent series that we have playing right now, Tasting Travel. Down here is another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe if you already have. And if you're in Seattle,